Alright, let's see. We probably need to get some... Right, that's... I will be needing more than one, so... Do we actually have any meat? We have some meat, perfect. We'll definitely need more drawing racks. And the reason why we want drawing racks is so we can make jerkies. And jerkies are excellent for healing and also for sanity restoration. Oh, it's another frog. I don't think I'm going to deal with frogs today. Thank you. And you. And you. And I should do it. Hey, it's a full moon. I'm assuming about full moon is that it does indeed light up the entire map. So you can see where you're going. For the most part, more of those mushroom trees. Very troublesome to- Oh, hello! Where pigs? Oh dear, where pigs? I don't fancy tangoing with two were pigs. Oh, there's three of them! Not. Oh, it might even be four of them! There's four of them! Oh, jeez. Oh, it's these guys. There we go. That takes care of them for now. I actually got some more meat from them as well. Perfect. No, we can't grab. But... Oh, ounce. Up this army. Yeah, be careful around pigs during the full moon. They turn into that. A few of them would have been manageable. Too many of them would have been too much. So eventually, at some point, ounce will come out and try to kill you. What else is new? Hello. That's not very good timing, but okay. Should be one more. There we go. There we go. And now I'm having trouble with inventories again. Well, one thing good about spring is that twigs and grass and stuff grow faster because of the rain. More, more nefarious frog. There we go. Store that thing in there. Oh, hey, tumbleweed. I could use a bit more health, but I think I should be fine as long as I'm not endangering myself needlessly. I can't go in there. Well, screw it then. I guess it it's together, you can actually make it, it into edible stuff. Yes, I remember. It takes longer because it's raining. Joy, joy, joy. Now let's go and see if we can get some more stuff. We're generally going to need a lot of stuff. I could kill some butterflies for some health, if I... I probably should. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to wherever place sounds... Even remotely like a good idea, which it probably isn't. Ah, uh, brain, 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 do your work, do your work. I think we need eight. Because with reeds we can make papyrus. And with papyrus we can make a bird's cage. Did I say nest? I meant cage. Let's actually collect as many reeds as we can. Oh dear, it's thundering. Hopefully I don't get struck by thunder. It can happen. I almost used a nuisance since you deal minimal damage to you. We're also gonna need a lot more. Ah, oh, fuck! Tentacles! I completely forgot. Of course, I'm a bit tired, so I can't really pay attention to the ground as much. You can see, if you kill carefully in the ground, you can see some sort of dark bubble in the ground. That indicates where the tentacles will emerge. They're honestly a pain in the ass to fight, so I don't recommend it. It's better yet to let other things fight it for you. Like sometimes you can find worms, the swamp, to these weird fish people. They don't do a good job of fighting it, but they do. They can eventually kill it. And if they kill it, you can get some pretty neat weapons from them. Not as good as a hand bat, but we'll do in a pinch. It's better than your average spear. Thinking. I am thinking. I am not thinking very. Well, right now. Let's cut more forest fires. Because why not? Go away, frog. There shall be peace in our time, for now. I desperately need more health if I'm going to be able to survive for much longer. Let's see. Birdcage. Hey, wall. Birdcage. We need. Yeah, we need papyrus. But we can make two papyrus and make a birdcage. For the moment, a birdcage will be useful for our base. 
Or else we need a bird, though. Oh, hey, some. Blue Magoo. You can actually eat it and gain some health up later. It does drain your sanity, but. Let's see. Yeah, that actually does wonders for our sanity. Hmm, not bad at all. Actually, I remember a trick as well. Let's cook half of these. Blue cat can also be used to recover health and sanity. There we go. Basically, one recovers sanity at the cost of health, and our recovers health at the cost of sanity. I still don't know what I'm doing. I should need to make a bird trap so we can catch ourselves a bird. There we go. Just leave it there, put a seed in it. Do we even have a seed? Please, a seed. That's not where you put the seed. I'm also going to need a lot of gold as well. So finding those things are going to be very good. Oh, hello goats. Dumble, 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 dumble. Get back here! I think sometimes you can find frogs inside these things. But usually it's still worth checking them out because sometimes you get trinkets and trade them forward to the picking for some for a lot of gold. But mostly just a good source of sticks and grass, which again you need a lot of in this game. The point of the bird cage is that you can transform certain food items into eggs. Spider meat is one of them. Unlike most other creatures, spider meat has no or moth meat really, has no negative impact on the birds. So you can transform them from hurtful food to eggs, which are perfectly fine to eat. You can also feed into the pig king, which means you can basically turn spider meat into gold. Which is incredibly good. Oh, hounds, I can hear them. That's very close to the oh dear. Damn. Oh well. Ooh, these things are good. You also need health too for much, much later. I think we should be fine without it for a while, but at some point we want to collect a lot of too. Yeah, let's get out of here. We got our enough gold. Oh, seeds. <laughs> priorities! I have good... <laughs> I have good priorities. <laughs> I'm being chased by a deadly dog, and the first thing I go is... Ooh, seeds! Oh, it's a minor hat from before. It's the three guards. They're pretending to not be there, but it's the three guards. There's a lot about this game I don't know much about. I'm gonna keep, even after spending so much time playing the game, there's still stuff to learn for me. It's that kind of game. It's kind of game you can think hours into, and you'll still not have discovered everything about the game. Perfect. We got our bird. And let's just put it down there. We don't need any more. And press in. Wait. Ha! Ah! This must be a very rare kind of bird if it's got a pirate hat. Eat it some eggs. No, that's... Oh, right. I need to cook it first. There we go. Plops in the leg. Now, remember one thing to cook with the eggs? I think we need... Yeah. Might as well pop that chip in there. Actually, we should go say hi to the pigs, then feed them monster meat and kill them. Sounds kind of nasty when you say it like that, but hey. Hello, little piggy. You want some food? This will certainly not turn into a horrible monster which I have to kill. Excellent. Now we can make another hand battery. We got some extra for later. Hey, there are. Excellent. Going. Excellent food item. Lasts much longer than normal food. And here's our bacon and eggs. There we go. We feel much better now. Oh, right. I never got the shark ball. Oh, froggy sandwich. Let's go down to the caverns to get ourselves some more light bulbs. Hopefully, we won't die before we reach them. We could also catch fireflies, but fireflies are actually a finite resource. And they're better for other purposes. Like, if you if you catch a firefly and place it somewhere else, they stay in that location. So if you put them in your base, they can actually light up your base. 
Of course, they disappear if you approach them, but if you move away from them, they will actually reappear. They actually stay in the same spot consistently. If you just get close to them, they just turn invisible, really. Ooh, these things are terrifying. I think they're not hostile, though, for the most part. I know people probably don't think Don't Starve is a super terrifying game, but... Oh! 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's not play with you. So sometimes the spider nest, when it's level 3, can turn into the spider queen. A sort of boss monster. Okay, earthquake. Let's get out of here. Why? Why? Oh! Oh! Oh, it took me one of the spiders. Ooh, gem! That's really good. So yeah, there's earthquakes in this game. They're kind of nasty, but they can actually be a good source of... Did they drop two diamonds? Oh no, it's just... It's a rabbit? It dropped a rabbit? Okay. Ooh! And then Thunderstrike. Oh, we never grabbed this too, the pan flute. Why are there no mushrooms? I want mushrooms. Get out of here. I should have wear my helmet. I didn't make every turn helmet. Get this. Okay. Okay. Well, I could have gone much better. That was pretty, pretty bad. Okay, we got everything we need for our underground base. So, we're more or less ready when... When... Summer bumps. 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 I should really just prepare for bed now. I am so together at this game. It's like my brain needs to buffer to process all the information it's getting. Now I need a pig and I need a lot of wood. Right now I need a pig. Get wood later. Actually, pigs will help you shop wood if you befriend them. See? Easy labor. You get to live for a little while longer, pig. Kill tree! I love how the kids shop trees with their bare fist. Or hooves, I guess. Or tusks? Or I don't know. Alright, we got some more meat in case we want to make a ham bat. Which you probably will be needing to because. Once the hand bat reaches red freshness, which is kid about a red part of thinking, that means your hand bat is basically as useful as your stick. That's the point you want to replace it. Oh, some place over here. Oh, bees! Bees! They're everywhere! There's a road down there. I probably shouldn't be trusting your road considering my luck with them, but... Oh, hey! That's to the adventure mode of Don't Starve. The closest thing to a store mode in the game. Oh, hey, spiders. Hello. Oh my, that's a lot of spiders. So this is where they're hanging out. I didn't have to go on the ground to get them. Damn it. This is not an efficient system. I know. Now let's go and fight the pig. Wait, go to fought the pigs. Let's go and fight this spider menace. Let's not forget putting on a helmet before we do so. I actually probably should try to take down one of these spider nests now it's level 3. Because if you take down a spider nest when it is level 3, you can get a spider egg so you can plant the nest somewhere else. Okay, okay, it's getting dark. Let's go home. We got almost a full stack of spider meat anyway. Light, light, light! Okay, okay. <laughs> that could have gone badly, but the thunder actually helped us for a moment there. Let's use this though. There we go. No, no, don't eat it, you fool! That's a load of eggs. Yes. 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 Gold. 
We need it. We need lots of it. Yeah, and you're gonna need to help now. I can barely think straight. Right. Okay, Swedish. Stop recording. Save and exit.